So I did not react to the Pokemon Presents because I woke up the moment it started. I woke up at 8 o'clock. It started at 8 o'clock for me. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting out of bed, getting ready to go live for a 12-minute live stream. So I was just like, fuck it. I'm just going to watch it. In sh I'm just going to watch it in bed. Yeah, they fucking cooked. Pokemon Presents was this morning. And I think every single Pokemon fan is happy right now. The Gen 5 fans I heard are mad. Okay, but they're not skipping Gen 5. I think that's the thing people need to understand. They're not skipping it. Gen 5 will still get a remake. Legend Celebi would have been cooler. <sighs> Sorry, I had to let it out. I had to let it out. There's no way, bro. Here's what's going on. We're going to watch the trailer. Everybody shut up. If you missed it this morning, this is what Pokemon showed. This is a trailer. This is all they showed, and everybody, is, everybody loves it. So when I saw this... I immediately thought Legends. I immediately thought Legends. I was like, this is a Legends theme, right? Like, I'm getting Legends theme right here, right? Urban redevelopment plan, and then they hid the city, right? They hid the city. They're like, we're going to keep down the wraps. A vision of beautiful coexistence between people and Pokemon. So when I saw this, I thought Unova. I think every I think every single person when they saw this thought Unova. I saw big big cities. That's like literally the definition of Unova. But then now, but now that I'm looking at it, now that I'm fucking looking at it, it actually looks like Lumio. Also, I think we should point out this. This is probably going to be the bad guys. I'm noticing this symbol. This is probably like the new bad guys in or I don't know what what it's going to be. I think this is obviously the construction company who is rebuilding the city, right? I don't know. I'm over here like, Unova, Unova, Unova. Why the fuck is Pyroar here? Hey, that's a lot of Gen 6 Pokemon. What the heck? I think we also need to understand something. They put a lot of fucking secrets in these trailers. And one thing I'm noticing is Dragonair is here. For, so this is not a Gen 6 Pokemon. So I'm expecting either a Dragonite Mega or a Dragonair regional form. Alucha's Gen 6. I'm seeing a Gyarados randomly. Gyarados is random. And then Aegislash versus the Sylveon. Right, 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 right. Wait, I'm realizing Pinsir and Heracross. A Bellsprout, Onix, Eevee. Lumios Tower, what's this tower? Prism Tower? Lumio City? Look at that. That's beautiful. We're so fing back. The moment I saw this, I started geeking. When I saw that it was Lumio City, I was like, there's no way they're doing a Legends game for Lumios, right? For X and Y, then they show Pokemon Legends. And I was like, wait, what are they doing? Boom! Pokemon Legends Z! Or Legend Za. I, I, Legend ZA. I don't know what we're calling it. I don't know what the community is going to call it. Pokemon Legend Za. Pokemon Legend Zaza. ZA. Pokemon Legend Zaza. And then obviously they do the teaser at the end. Megas are back. Which, here's what I always thought, right? If a Gen 6 remake was bound to happen, it was bound to happen. No matter what, Megas would return. But this technically isn't a remake. And Megas are back. No matter what. Some things we got to talk about. Urban redevelopment plan. I've been looking at some videos. I've been looking at some tweets. I've been looking at some stuff, right? A lot of people think this is going to be a future game. I don't think it is. Well, I think what people need to see here, this is a blueprint. This is a blueprint of what they want the city to look like. And so I think we're going to be in an empty city after the war, which that's that's just my thought process. That's my thought process because it's going to be in the past and it's going to be after the war and we're trying to rebuild the region because everything's going to be a barren wasteland because there's a war in Gen 6. That's like canon. That's like a whole fucking thing. That's what I think. I think it's the beginning of the region just like in um the hisui region right or they're rebuilding the city after the weapon went off i don't think so legends doesn't have to be in the past but it would make sense or what if it's like during the war 
That'd be kind of crazy. I don't think that's something Pokemon would do, but that'd be kind of crazy, right? <laughs> they learned from Pal World. Okay, you fuck. Shut the. Shut the. Yeah, I need everyone to understand something, okay? Pokemon has like a fucking seven to ten year timetable of games they plan on releasing and games they plan on doing. There's no way Pal World has made them do this. I've been seeing people, they're like, oh my god, Pal World made Pokemon step it up. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think that's the case. Also, the fact that it's being released in 2025 means that this will probably come out during the Switch 2. It makes sense. This will probably be like one of the first games that comes out on the second Switch which will obviously make people want to buy the second Switch. Switch 2? Yeah, Switch 2 has been rumored. It'll probably get announced soon. Nintendo tweeted saying okay. it was entirely set inside Lumio. Okay, I saw that tweet. But also, I think people need to understand something. That the Nintendo of America fucking Twitter isn't Game Freak. You know, they just distribute the games. Like, everybody sees this tweet and they're like, Watch see the reveal trailer. A new adventure set entirely within the city. And people see this and they're like, Oh, we're only in the city. We can only stay in the city i think they're misspeaking but also also if what they do is they make the city huge and like you explore the entire city because obviously it's not a i don't think it's gonna be a fit finished city it's gonna be like rcs we're gonna go to different areas and rebuild it throughout the history that's what i think but also people see this and they're like oh my god we can only stay inside the city it's so small and you know i like obviously i don't think that's the case you know i don't think that's what they're gonna do the city isn't small it's not a small city also it's not a small city lumio city is is the biggest city in pokemon i'm pretty sure but also if it's bigger and expanded and it's fucking huge and like you know I'm, I'm sure you can go outside of it but think of it like this right like it makes sense you could like only stay in the city because like the rest of the region is a fucking barren wasteland so here's the thing we're gonna get three new starters with three new regional forms we're gonna get probably xerneas and yveltal new forms probably a zygarde new form i don't know what we're gonna do with zygarde we're gonna get new megas i'm excited this is gonna be fucking good like i like it there's no gameplay or anything i don't even need to see a gameplay i'm already excited i'm gonna buy it like i'm buying it day one right <laughs> what are some megas you're hoping for i think that they should do new ones because obviously people want um like old megas that never happened like obviously people want flygon haxorus rada rada like old pokemon that didn't get megas i want new ones like i want some gen, gen 7s and gen 8s to get megas right and for the mega shinies to actually be good mega shinies are usually good whenever the shinies for megas come out they're usually good because you get mega gengar like so i don't think it's gonna happen in this game but like low key i would not mind more paradox pokemon i think paradox pokemon are sick i think it'd be cool i don't know if they will do it i think it'd be dope also i think people need to remember this is kalos we could potentially make our way to area zero or some shit. or like some area zero can like make its way over here or something like that you know like that is a big potential there's a lot of speculation though. there's a lot of like rumors so, like obviously like i think this is my favorite part i'm, I'm a fucking sucker for this shit, all right i love it when they announce a new game and then we just get information throughout the year and we start cooking it and thinking about it oh dude do you think we're gonna get a mega charizard z i love this and you know why i love this because all the motherfuckers we're gonna get gen 5 we're gonna get gen 2 i saw a leak it's 100 percent gonna happen legend z a kalos is back nobody saw that coming i am happy it's a legends that makes me happy i think legends rcs cooked and i'm glad they're continuing it these are mainline pokemon games legends is gonna keep happening and i think no one is complaining about that they actually do something with az's floet i mean obviously they're going to the fucking title of the game is called za which is az backwards like you could just done pokemon legend z and we all be like oh it's fucking zygarde but it's fucking za so it has something to do with az x and y we're basically half done games like there was so much lore with zygarde that we never got to experience which i think is why they're doing this game so you gotta think of it like this the starters will have a new mega right no matter what so you gotta think of it like this the starters will not include any gen 1 it will not include any gen 3 and they won't do they won't have any gen 6 they're also not gonna have oshawa they're not gonna have rowlet and they're not gonna have cyndaquil so those three will probably not get new megas torchic mudkip and turtwig i saw a tweet where people like predicted the sh uh the starters i think one of them was snivy one of them was torchic i think the other one was piplup but, but the thing is torchic already has a mega like you gotta think about it the starter you you get 
we'll get a mega. Well, I guess if they get new forms, it won't matter, right? Wait, think of it like this, though. If they have a regional mega, can they have a regular mega? Oh my god, there's so much to think about. I've been seeing the, um, the Pokemon competitive community be really scared that one of the starters is gonna be Litten and Incineroar is gonna get a mega. I've seen a lot of them, like, really scared about that one because I know that Incineroar is, like, one of the most hated Pokemon. <laughs> I'm curious on what, like, what, what do you think is going to get a regional? I, I guess it depends on, like, the theme they're going for, right? So here's also a thing you got to think about, right? Megas, huge and competitive Pokemon. Do you think this Legends game is going to have PvP? Or do you think they're going to do the same thing they did with Legends Arceus? I think they low key might switch it up. And what about Ash Greninja? What if they just give them a Mega? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. They changed Battle Bond. And what if they just give Greninja that form as a mega the answer was right in front of us the whole fucking time that makes so much sense uh, ever since ash greninja they were like we want to get rid of it we don't care like okay we want to put in the past and they actually changed battle bond and made it useless instead of changing forms they give them a new mega but it's just the same mega i bet it'd be the same i mean the design's cool i don't think they need to change it it's not a mega Imagine though they do two sets of starters like they did in x and y and the second set of starters is gen 6 starters that get mega oh really ash greninja is not a mega i didn't know that didn't i just say that they got rid of the form to make it a mega and that's the form is going to get in the mega didn't i just say that is that the thing i just said i think i just said that are you fucking paying attention are you listening to the words I'm saying? I think I just said that. I don't think it's going to get like a battle bond anyways. I think it's just going to be a mega stone, you know? Mega evolve. Boom. Mega Greninja, you know? And then maybe since they give Greninja a mega, they give Del Fox and Chestnut a mega, you know? Damn, bro. They hid the starters this time. Because didn't they, when they showed Legends Arceus, they showed the starters, right? Damn, they're hiding them from, from us this time. They're hiding them. Hey, YouTube, this is going to go up on Puffer TV. I've always wanted to have like a Pokemon channel, but if I should just like add Pokemon content on Puffer TV, if you enjoy me yapping, if you enjoy me like talking about this stuff, um, let me know. Let me, leave a like on the video. I would greatly appreciate that because I low key, I like Pokemon. Obviously, that's not a fucking secret. Plot twist, RNG stars every playthrough. Pokemon would never do a randomizer. Pokemon is not a fan of Nuzlocke. They are not a fan of randomizers. They're not a fan of those. The Pokemon community loves that shit. I love randomizers. But then again, Again, Pokemon hated Megas, so, you know, it do, you never know. I expected Megas to return eventually. Whenever they did Gen 6 remakes, Megas would have to return. I just didn't think it'd be this soon, which is a fucking W. I love it. Did they get new fairy types? I don't think we get new fairy types because obviously they have, they introduce new fairy types every game. So I don't think they're going to give fairy types to any new Pokemon, no. But I know they did that when the type was first introduced. Mega Xerneas and Yveltal, it's very potential. Either Mega Xerneas or Yveltal or different forms of them. I don't know, like origin forms. I don't know, man. We need a ghost EV evolution. I doubt it. Usually, new evolutions happen during new games, but technically, these are new games. Like, I think people need to understand now that Legends is here to stay, and these are going to be new mainline games. So, a new evolution is very potential. Curious for mode of transport this time? True. Like, what bird can we fly on? I, I actually love the traversal in Legends Arceus. I like it better than Scarlet and Violet. Like, even though you have to, like, change Pokemon to do different things, I low-key like it more. I texted Blark when he was still on his flight. I texted him the information because he couldn't watch it. And bro was losing his f***ing mind. He thought I was lying. It's like, there's no way. I was like, yes, Legend Z is a f***ing thing. Wish I could see his reaction. I deadass went, oh! in my bed like like laptop on my lap i sat up when i saw lumios i was like wait what uh! when i saw the pokemon legends icon when i saw that shit, i freaked the fuck out i'm very mad i did not wake up in time to react to it i'm sorry about that prediction playing as az in the past um i don't think that will happen i don't think you play as az because all uh, pokemon loves to let you customize your character so i doubt you play as az and also he's a grown-ass man wasn't he a grown-ass man during the war i know he's like three thousand years old like obviously modern day but like during the war he was a grown-ass man right well, i doubt you play as him you always play as a kid not only are we gonna get new starters new regionals but new megas like oh my god they're fucking cooking anyways legend z legend za i don't even know what we're calling it legend za i'm very excited for what they're gonna make yeah.